morning everyone i am presenting on the topic beat the fate so uh, presenting mr m a 35 year old gentleman a farmer from kanapa came with alleged history of uh, deliberate self harm with consumption of paracord so he took this paracord on 6th of august at around 4 pm near his home in srinivasapuram kanapa so on 6th of august Uh, after having a dispute uh, with his family members, he took about one eighty ml of alcohol, and following which he consumed ten ml of paracord with a, mixed with a hundred ml of water and drank about ten to twenty ml of it. So fifteen uh, minutes after that, he started having uh, multiple episodes of vomiting, about fifteen episodes, and the vomiters also contained few drops of blood, and he developed a burning sensation of the epigastric region also. So, uh, this was the um, uh, paracord uh, which he consumed. So, uh, he did not have any fever, no jaundice. There was no abdominal distension or penile edema, no reduced urine output, no altered mental status, or no breathing difficulty or chest pain, and no uh, increased salivation, lacrimation, incontinence of urine, uh, or stools, or diarrhea following the consumption. So he was taken to a local hospital in his own place where he was given gastric lavage within about 20 minutes of consumption. And he presented to CMC on the next day of poisoning. So past history wise, he doesn't have any comorbidities and uh, there was no history of previous uh, deliberate cell form also. So personal history wise, he was an occasional alcoholic, alcoholic who consumes 180 ml of alcohol two to three times in a month, and he's not a smoker. So vital size, his respiratory rate was 22 per minute, BP of 110 by 80, and pulse rate of 88 per minute, and total GCS of 15. And he was maintaining an SPO2 of 19% in Romania. And so there was no failure, intracinosis, clubbing, lymphadenopathy, or penile edema, and there was no tongue ulcers. So, Abdomen examination, it was not distended, it was soft and no organomegaly and no melina on perfectal examination. And respiratory system, normal vesicular breath sounds were heard and no added sounds were heard. And CVS, S1, S2 had normally in the respective signs with no murmurs. And CNS, pupils 3 millimeter, um, equally reacting to light bilaterally with no, uh, he did not have any flaps. Power was five by five in all four limbs and reflexes were toothless. And he had an outside report which was showing an upper GS endoscopy uh, showing a malary beast tear. So the organ injuries uh, anticipated there, mucosal paracord tongue with the perforation of uh, esophagus, stomach, venous tinnitus, uh, pneumomediastinum, an acute kidney injury, acute tubular necrosis, liver injury, and pulmonary fibrosis. So, on investigations, his HP was 17.3 and uh, total counts were 13,600 with the neutrophils of 96 and lymphocytes of 4, platelets 2.7 lakhs, and urea of 24 with the creatinine of 1.2. And uh, electrolytes were 139. Uh, 4.2 and 18, um, uh, sodium potassium and vitamin respectively. So LFT was 0 0.59, 0 0.10, uh, total and direct bilirubin, albumin of 4.3 and total protein of 7.4, with SGOT, SGPT of 29 and 46 respectively. So um, he was kept in PO and we did a gastroscopy again. Uh, which also showed a malary tear of two millimeter in the distal esophagus. So uh, an entity tube was placed uh, with the help of ga gastrologist. So in a paracord uh, poisoning, the major cause of death is due to oxidative insult to the alveolar epithelium with obliterating fibrosis leading to respiratory failure. So it is mainly the oxidative insult which cause uh, that um, leads to the death in this patient. So as there is no uh, antidote for uh, paracord, we tried every uh, trial with at least minimum um, survival benefit um, for, for the patient. Um, so we went through literature and we found few trials so uh, that had a survival benefit on those patients who consumed paracord. So we started with the NAC protocol, 150 mg per AG. 
Um, well, I think this is three minutes. Following me for three minutes, like you know, I'm at four hours, and um, following me for three minutes, you know, อ่าเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเ
this was an article which showed the classification of severity of thyroid poisoning in other case, in other guy, he had a uh, vomiting immediately following consumption and he had a uh, renal failure within four days of consumption of thyroid. So um, he may fall under this moderate to severe uh, acute uh, poisoning of thyroid. So, so uh, uh, after about nine days of poisoning, we did not see the rights to uh, uh, to look for any fibrosis in him to prognosticate his uh, um, uh, like, uh, for his prognostication. So there was no fibrosis in him. So we also asked for a surgery consult to start him on uh, oral diet. So they told like to start with uh, 30 ml per hour of oral fluids followed by uh, if he were if he were tolerating this to start him orally. So he tolerated the oral diet. And um, eventually we started him on, um, we took off his NG tube and he tolerated orally also. So the condition of discharge was, as I told earlier, he was lightly stable, he was maintaining uh, saturation at room air and uh, he was able to take food orally also. So uh, learning point was immunosuppression and antioxidant and antifibrotics in the management of paracrat poison. Thank you. Manshin, how did you, that's very good, mathematics. But how did you give it the immunosuppression you started off first and then you gave cyclophosphamide? No, we, uh, like on the same day we started. On the same day same you started day, yeah. the pulsing Both. and uh, cyclophosphamide. And two days consecutively you gave cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. About 10 to 20 ml, he mixed in 100 ml water, and in fact, he took about 10 to 20 ml. Yeah. That's also possible, but because of, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. We did actually after five days of consumption. We did so. No, no, he came after on the second day. Yeah, yeah, on that day we should have. His renal failure was there on the day he presented. Creat was 1.2 on the day he presented. We don't have a baseline value. So on when he presented, it was 1.2. After giving uh, all this cyclo and this thing, did it start worsening? No. Like on the third day, he hiked up to 4.5. And then he slowly, it started dropping. Third day after giving cyclo or the After day? consumption of the poison. But he came with normal. No, no, she actually, she, I don't even see the case. I thought 